uh, as many or maybe many of you ha don't know, uh, Dreamcatcher is the first group that we ever covered here on Audio Addiction. And again, I have to give a massive shout outs to Alex for introducing me to Dreamcatcher because again, I fully stand this band. I love them. They're my alt. They're my alt group. Uh, I love them so much, and I'm always very excited to uh, check out what they have coming out. Uh, and this is their newest song, so we have to check out Justice. Uh, I feel like it's only right, and it's only good to check it out here live. So let's get into it. I'm very excited. Young classic right there. God. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, get better soon, Sion. Fingers crossed we'll see her on tour. That's what I'm hoping for. Let's hope you should listen to it one more. <laughs> we can. I'll, listen, that's up to chat. I'll, I'll listen to it again. I'll listen to it like 20 more times, though, to be fair. Um... Very cool. If you're joining just now, this is going to be the chaos stream uh, after this. So, kind of come. We want. Are we running it back? You want to run it back real quick? I'll run it back if you want. <laughs> okay. Shoop says, "I'm not crazy about the sin choices in that, but the rest of the song slaps hard enough to make up for it." Interesting. Okay. I I respect your opinion. I like that. Do a stage performance. Okay. Okay. 
I don't feel like I don't even have to say really much. Honestly, this is like peak shit for me. I'm about it. Um, again, I feel like I don't have to preface this at all, but I am a huge Dreamcatcher stan. I feel like this song, and I'm very excited to listen to the album because I have not listened to it. So I'm excited to get into the full album. But man, I I love everything about Dreamcatcher. They combine my love of K-pop now. They also combine my love of metal and rock music, which is still very much a staple of my rotation. But um, I feel like Dreamcatcher was that one group that just like, again, me mesh those two worlds in such a like really unique and beautiful way that they will always remain to be one of those groups that I always continuously listen to because I just know I know they're gonna they're always gonna give me something I like so for the most part so I feel like uh I, I will always remain true on having them on and checking their music out but um I'm very excited to hopefully get a chance to see them live in DC uh I know at least I plan on going I think Alex might go as well so if you are going to Washington, D.C., Dreamcatcher, come say hello. But uh, the song itself was great. Um, I like at the beginning, it kind of has this, like, anthemic. I also feel like, um, uh, <laughs> hot take, take, DC, <laughs> DC and DC, you're right. Um, I, I believe Alex had pointed it out, and I think a, po a couple other people had uh, mentioned that it kind of has this mir militaristic sort of, like, uh, beginning verse or slash pre-chorus of the song and I feel like uh, I feel like it's very interesting that they kind of are u using that sort of musical motif so I, I definitely can hear it um, in that beginning portion of the song which I really liked um, I also like the way they stack the vocals in that section I thought it was really nice it also gives like this sort of choral anthemic sort of feel too as well um, there is this really fun like drum roll into the song uh, into that chorus which was really unique um there was a really interesting vocal effect i i'm pretty sure it's like some sort of like flanger effect or possibly like a flanger and delay but like the way they have it like set up is it's kind of like panning between both ears which i thought was like very interesting i guess the only way i could kind of describe it as like more of like like a helicopter type like sound to it uh which I thought was a very unique choice. I will say at first chorus, I wasn't sure if I was going to enjoy it, but then by the time we got to the second chorus, it really kind of stuck out more, and I, I, I like it more and more. I imagine as the more I listen to the song, the probably the more I'll find it enjoyable. But um, as well as that, I love the Dami verse, of course. I feel like since she's my ult, I got to give her a shout-out. But um, I, I really enjoyed kind of the... Um, the approach she went vocally this time. I feel like it wasn't as aggressive. I know that in some songs she really kind of lays in uh, with some parts. So I, I was kind of surprised that she didn't kind of, you know, be a little bit, have a little bit more gusto with it. But that's, hey, nor here nor there. I, I still think she did a really fantastic job of, uh, of the verse. Um, but man, some of these vocals were really sick. Again, another shout outs to the bridge. Uh, I feel like the vocals in that section were so good. Um, and just that build up into that final chorus, I think really sent this song to like another plane for me. Uh, very excited. I think the album is called Virtuous. Uh, so I, I'm excited to give more of their album a listen. If you have a recommendation of song I should check out or you'd like me to do a video on, let me know uh, because I probably will try to do maybe the rest of them. Um, you know for a video or something but uh i definitely like this one more than i liked villains uh so i feel like we're moving in a good direction here and i think hot take taste said that it kind of reminds them of like old and new Dreamcatcher, and i i would care to agree with that uh definitely had some like elements of old and new um which is always really cool and i think it's pretty close up there with my personal favorite song from theirs uh in terms of title tracks uh, bon voyage is like a song that i go back and listen to all the time and i feel like this one is going to be very close to how much time and effort i put into that album so uh very very excited uh very uh very cool uh <laughs> alex said who spent their life sale? wait why they went on sale oh shit i gotta go look though oh no anyway um all right cool 